Hi, this is Terence Wu, Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a coped cut so that it is perpendicular to the axis of a pipe. I've got a pipe that has been trimmed to meet another pipe. This is pretty easy to do using the Weldments Trim Extend tool, and we get a typical fish mouth coped cut. The problem is that, in reality, the end of our pipe probably wouldn't look quite like this. It might look something more like this instead where the cut is perpendicular to the axis of the pipe. So let's go through how to achieve this. We're going to use some surface modeling to help us out, and we'll start with the ruled surface tool. There are a few different methods that you can use to define a ruled surface. The one we want here is normal to surface, and we want to select the inside edge of our trim pipe. This should create a surface that follows the inside edge and remains perpendicular to the axis of the pipe. If the surface appears to be parallel with the pipe, just hit the alternate face button and that should give the surface the correct orientation. If that still doesn't work, you could try using the perpendicular to vector option and selecting the axis of the pipe as your vector. Lastly, make sure to set the distance to the outside at a value greater than the thickness of the pipe and then hit OK. We now have a surface body that we can use to cut our pipe solid body. I just need to use the cut with surface tool set the direction, and click OK. Now there are two more important details I should mention. Sometimes, when performing the cut with surface operation, you may encounter a geometric condition error. If you do, one additional step is needed. Grab the Extend Surface tool and extend the surface a small distance to the inside. The surface cut should now be able to solve without an error. Also, if you get small sliver faces like these, you can use the Delete Face tool with Delete and Patch to remove them. And there we have it. Our fish mouth cut has been trimmed perpendicular to the axis of the pipe. If you want to create a template to wrap around the pipe for cutting, click on the link to check out Jordan Winger's great video on how to unroll a pipe. I hope you found this useful. If you have a question, please leave a comment and let us know, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.